Hello everyone! Have not seen you for a long time and today is a really very important day. It's a big day of the mainnet, la mainnet launch and it has arrived. But first, as usual, let's start from some news. So on basic mainnet functionality will be launched today. Uh, it will be basics most importantly there will be post quantum protection for your money that's basic that will run uh proof of that will be based on proof of authority uh, zero chain and support chain that will launch we launch also our native token and present cf20 uh, standard um with tone uh, tone sub chain will run a little later so today we'll run only proof of authority sub chains and uh, now more important things that will be tokenomics as an ecosystem uh, project uh, we have been reviewing and testing different tokenomics options since the main network launch we are l0 l1 project and our ecosystem will grow like other ecosystem projects, Polkadot, Ethereum, Solana, Cosmos, none of them have a max supply and that's why, because it's growing. Uh, so why the change in tokenomics? Because in addition to unlimited max supplies, there will be also additional emission for nodes and further development needs. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, we'll have a supply increment ne nearest uh, year um and uh, uh this uh, supply will be spread between uh, uh between nodes also the additional issue uh, for the team is a new premine the entry premine is for development funding and we have decided that we will not spend it it will be just as reserves something like this and um uh, Mm, it will be uh, 3 million tokens, they will be out of, of circulation, so don't worry. Uh, part of these tokens will be used for OTC deals, for liquidity, but that will be later when we'll run AMM uh, trading. Uh, another 3 million tokens will be spread as reward for nodes. Uh, also, it could be obtained through the single token staking, so our previous model, when you earn only on service fee, will be, uh, um, uh, for this fee, we'll add uh, reward based on emission. Uh, so, uh, right now we grow by 10% our supply and the next year will grow uh, more uh, 10%. Next year's uh, this emission will decrease, it will only decrease. Uh, maybe uh, how much it will be decreased uh, will be decided on governance and the year, end of uh, year uh, it will be voting between uh, where all holders could participate and will decide how much will reduce uh, this emission. Uh, so that's how it works. Uh, you can stake your cell tokens, but uh, not run a node and delegate your stake to someone else who doesn't have his stake. Uh, and he will not only share his reward from service, but also share the emission, as I told before. And uh, I believe uh, when we calculate this uh, moment, we uh, dis uh, we. Uh, see the average api for the staking is between uh, 5 and 30 percent it will be really high uh, api because it's uh, really depends from uh, how much node will have uh, during this year if this average number will have about uh, ten thousands it will be 30 percent so it will, if we'll have up to 1 million it will be around five percent that's just to uh, see the edge uh, numbers something like this <coughs> so the 3 million tokens will be emitted in the next year for master nodes uh, um, and uh, uh, how we have uh, calculated this let's imagine that we have an average of 10,000 nodes this year they will lock uh, 10 million tokens uh, and they will go out from circulation so uh, 
you understand, you lock 10 millions, obtain 3 millions. It's about 30, 33 uh, API. Uh, anyway, it will be dynamic because we'll uh, uh, will decrease uh, stake amount for to be validator. So when we decrease, uh, your API grows. Uh, when uh, total uh, nodes number uh, grows, your API decrease. So we'll balance these two processes to uh, keep your API on some middle level. Uh, by the way, on the beginning it will be really huge, it will be 100%, I believe. And now let's talk about uh, bridge to the mainnet. How will look like, how will it great? Uh, it will look uh, like something easy. Uh, you just download the dashboard, self frame dashboard. It's our native wallet application, you know. Uh, then you create wallet in this application, go uh, to the site, enter your wallet address, connect the MetaMask, send your tokens and get them on the dashboard. This will, for now, it will be one-way migration uh, during the month when we'll Polish everything when pass the second stage audit, uh, we have a bidirectional bridge, uh, but for the beginning it will be a one direction. Also, at the end of the April, we are planning to implement uh, the things on the uh, CX uh, uh, exchanges, uh, and uh, you could have uh, could use them, could use them. Uh, so, by the way. Mm, uh, fee on this uh, bridge will be low, it will be uh, 10 cells plus uh, dot, uh, 0.1% uh, from amount of assets that you are transferred through bridge. Okay, the next topic uh, will be launch of auctions. Uh, we announce the upcoming launch of auctions on native protocols. Uh, really, we worked uh, a lot of with the current code base and decided that to work with, uh, to get it working with uh, Ethereum or BC is really uh, too complicated because we use their results in our native protocols, you know. Uh, so the launch of auctions is, will be based on the bridge engine uh, and we launch the bridge. It will be nearest time and then we launch auctions maybe uh, next week or two, I don't know, really an nearest time and this liquidity shock should also uh, accumulate a lot of sales much more than we limit, so also don't worry. Uh, next step that we are planning to do is a WSM based smart contracts. Uh, this, uh, why we, uh, by the way, we promised it before, this uh, Western based smart contracts on the summer, but now we need to hurry up a little, uh, because uh, Western based smart contracts, uh, we need to be directional bridge. So we have a CIF 20 token, which will work for directional bridge, and we need to some, to implement some code to get it to work. Uh, so that's why we need, and we are planning to to make it really nearest time at this uh, during this month. Okay, and then also the next uh, topic is a tax repeal on BSC. You know this BSC network tax. Uh, you don't like it, and uh, I would like to decrease it at the nearest time. But unfortunately, I need to communicate with other people, and uh, we have decided that a tax will be repealed in uh, early May. Uh, maybe we'll have some uh, decrease during the April, so it could be a few stages, but we really go into repeal it all. Um, audit results. Also, people asking the, about this. Uh, most of the code has been audited, uh, but the audit is still in progress. And uh, things that still not audited is uh, enough. Is they are related with the bridge. That's why it's uh, unidirectional from the beginning. And uh, also audited, uh, still not audited, uh, tone consensus. Uh, so mm, that's why we do. Uh, one directional bridge and uh, audit uh, wh when we finish audit when prepare smart contracts put it together and we'll have bidirectional bridge 
The rest uh, code is audited well. Uh, there were some issues. We paid a lot of uh, uh, bug bounty prices, but now all they are fixed and um, it looks safe. Uh, anyway, if it's not, please help us. Our uh, bounty program is continuing, continues, and you could um, send us your findings and we'll reward you. Okay, okay, that was all our news, and now the main part of uh, today's uh, show. Uh, we'll launch the road nodes, generate the Genesis event, and uh, declare a token. Now I think I should go to the chat and talk with you a little. I think you have a lot of comments. And I will try to answer any questions until guys are preparing everything. Uh, we'll partner dubs like KLB Live with Mainnet Lounge Dmitry a little later because it has some own uh, uh, functions. Uh, I believe they need some more time, maybe a few days. Uh, anyway, on this week, uh, KL, KL Mainnet will also be uh, launch it and we'll see um, how it works like. However, we are. Mm, also, they it, it will not be bridged uh, transparently. What I'm, what does it mean? Uh, because uh, um, to bridge, uh, uh, to bring up a Kel service and provide VPN through Kel, you need to stake Kel, not sell. Uh, when we'll have transparent bridging, you could uh, use sell for uh, VPN service providing. Mm, long life Russian developers. By the way, we have not only Russian developers, we are international project. But thank you, I appreciate your support. Uh, why not to keep the same supply? Uh, good question. Uh, we have no, not so much uh, dubs on the beginning. And uh, will not be a lot of fees collecting from the services, so we need to provide some reward. Uh, maybe in future, when we'll have a really thousand thousand debts, uh, we could uh, stop supply at all. But uh, look, if uh, we have a totally limited supply, uh, we have a problem with circulation. Uh, so. Mm. That's why. Anyway, on this stage, when we are growing and really growing fast and faster, uh, it doesn't matter because uh, most of this emission will be locked in a staking program. I believe in the staking program will be locked more emission. Also, for auctions, will be locked uh, much more supply up to 30%. So, really, it's not a problem. Okay. Anyway, for you who will uh, uh, who will bring up Noto, will use staking uh, program. It all will be good because you will earn much more monies. Is cell frame dashboard supported on Apple M1 silicon? Uh, yes, it could be compiled on uh, Apple M1. Uh, at least on my um, on my M1 device, it's working properly. Just there are no. Uh, pre-compiled version. Uh, anyway, you could download it and build uh, by your own or your own uh, until our team will prepare uh, some binary builds for M1. Anyway, it works fine. I like how it works. Mm, besides the KLVPN as a sell slot, there are any listing for sell slot project we can expect in the future. Yes, there are participators for slots. I want to know the but only got not enough cells. Uh, we'll think about it. Uh, I think the uh, staking program will be open for any amounts. Just um, they they could be divided with uh, different stakers. We'll think about it. Okay, the next step after um, bridge smart contract launch uh, will be a native uh, token declaration. We need for this uh, team reports that we need about one hour. Uh, so we go on some break. After this break, we'll return to you uh, and continue the stream.